Welcome to OAuth Tools. This is a tool to learn and explore OAuth and OpenID Connect. You have all the flows you work with to the left. You have the workspace in the middle where you define the flow and you have the results to the right. The JOT token flow is where you can paste the JOT and see the contents. It will also validate the signature if it can find the key. You can check for different types. If I define an ID token type, it will validate if this token is conforming to the spec for OpenID Connect ID tokens. If I want to run a flow, I need an OWASP server. So I click Environments, and then I can fill in the details of the OWASP server, or I can use Discovery, such as Webfinger. So I'll click Discover, and it will find the metadata URL, and then it will find the endpoints for me. It will also find all the scopes that are exposed, the keys that are published, the authentication, that are possible for this server, the response types, and you can view the metadata raw. You can also see the clients that you want to manage for this environment. So you can either dynamically register one or simply add one with new clients. So I'll add one. And you define what flows you want to use this client for and if it should be framed or not. You can name the environment something useful and then you just close this modal. So let's start a flow. Click Start Flow and select an flow open ID connect or OAuth that you want to use. So I'll use the code flow. You can rename the flow over here and then you can start. The first thing you need to do is to pick the environment that you want to use in this flow, the OAuth server. So I'll use the test server. Make sure that your client is configured with this callback URL, otherwise it won't redirect back to OAuth, uh, OAuth.tools. You can click show guide to see how the flow works. To run the flow, you need to enter some details. We need a client, so we pick the one we pre-configured, and we need a scope. I'll use the OpenID scope to run an OpenID flow. You can also use Pixie and add additional OpenID settings here. You'll see the resulting URL that will be used when we initiate the flow. So I'll click Run. This will take us to the OWASP server where we need to log in. And once we're done, it will redirect back to the callback URL. This gave us an authorization code. We click redeem code, or we could use the curl command to redeem it in our shell if we wanted to. Redeem code gave us three tokens, an access token, a refresh token, and an ID token. Since the ID token is a JOT, it's decoded right away, and we can see the contents. We can also see that it's valid according to the signature with the key published from that OWA server. The opaque tokens can be introspected by clicking the introspect button you'll see the contents of the token. This depends on if the client is capable of introspection or not. If you have another client for introspection, you can enter it in the introspection settings and say use separate client for introspection and enter the details for that client instead. You can introspect a refresh token or you can refresh the refresh token, which will give you new tokens. If I want to start another flow, I click start flow again and I can start an introspection flow, for instance, if I want to use a separate flow for that. Now I still need a client and an environment. And then I need a token to introspect. And then I can pick one from the other collections. So I'll take the access token from my code flow collection. And now I can see the curl command that is used when introspecting. So I'll click introspect and we'll see the contents of the token again. There are many flows that you can explore using OAuth tools. We hope it's a useful tool for you to learn OAuth and OpenID Connect. Thank you.